Hello, uh, this session will be about troubleshooting mobile devices by using Fiddler and Network Monitor to narrow down issues about connectivity. So a little bit of background about this and how we can set up this environment first. So what we need is a PC or a laptop, a mobile device that will be used to do uh, an hotspot or a 3G router and a mobile device with an issue. So what I have here on my setup is my, my laptop that is connected to my mobile device via wireless, so doing a, an hotspot. What we need to do is connect also the other mobile device to this hotspot. So all of them will be on the same wireless network. What we need to do also is to write down the IP address of the my laptop or on the laptop. We will need this IP address to connect to the mobile device and use this IP address as a proxy server. The first thing we need to do on the laptop is to configure Fiddler to allow for remote connection. So in order to do that, you just need to open Fiddler, go Tools, Fiddler Options, Connections, and check that the checkbox allow remote computers to connect. And also pay, pay close attention to this port. Next, we need to go on the mobile devices and just open up your mobile device, go into the wireless connections, select the, the hotspot that we are working on, and on the proxy settings, set up a manual proxy, and just put the IP address of the laptop and the port number. So the port number will be the same as we saw on Fielder, 8888. After that, just to confirm that we have a connection to Fiddler, you can open your browser, either in Safari or an Edge or an Android, and type in HTTP and the IP address that you put it on the proxy, 2.8888. You should be able to get a Fiddler echo from the web page. This means that the mobile device is connecting to Fiddler via proxy. Now for this, for you to troubleshoot this, I have a here a very specific case which is from an iOS device that is calling to the to the to the customer and when the mobile device logs on we get a message say that certificate validation has been failed. So the first thing we need to do is take a look at the mobile device logs and you can send them by email. So I have opened here the mobile device logs and already done a filter for errors and transporters. So I then narrowed it down to and I could see in the logs to SSL and, and shake failed. And this this gave me the clue that uh, the authentication wasn't working for the for the certificate. So I wanted to troubleshoot this further to understand what's going on. So I took a filler trace from the mobile device and what I needed to do was just uh, open my link client and do a normal logon until I get the message and then I stop the, the trace. Here on filler I could get the trace for a failure and what I saw was that this was connecting to an ADFS and I can see here that the client hello was found and the client started to authenticate to the ADFS server. Now on this window we can see the request and the, in here we can see the reply. We can see this actually we got an, a, a connection established but there was an exception when doing the SSL authentication. So something is going on on this uh, ADFS server. Now to make sure that this was the exact issue what I did was just to ping the address of this ADFS server and then I took a network trace and filtered by the IP address of the ADFS server. So I have here the network trace and you can see clear where the issue is. So we have here the client hello that's the client connecting to the ADFS and is been negotiating the cipher suites, but we don't see a server hello that will be the next step. Instead, we see a reset 
a reset connection. This means that the ADFS server as an issue that is resetting the connections from these mobile clients. This was narrowed down to an issue to the on the IDFS server and then was fixed. So you can use these tools to troubleshoot these type of situations and errors uh, on on mobile devices. Hope you enjoyed this this session. Thank you.